Um, we have many things. Testimony, what happened during the ways and so on and so forth. Shall we start from the prophecy? We should know what has happened here. All over the world, every week, we, we speak about the event that happened around the world. And I told you about prophecy. It's not necessarily predicting future events but pushing the world with power. Prophecy is not necessarily predicting future events, but pushing the world with power. Remember last three weeks that was video showing if you could remember vividly when a message was given here that pray for this leader in Asia country, that I'm seeing somebody being rushed to the hospital, and uh, and I mentioned particular day. If you could remember, huh? What was the day? Friday. Friday was mentioned here because it has become history now. So it was Friday was mentioned that I'm seeing a man, a leader of a nation that shaped the nation, one of the leaders that shaped the nation, Asia country. On Friday, I'm seeing him being rushed and uh, he could not return back home. But that very week, it happened. We pray where? God should only show us. We, that was that. And you remember SXX the same weeks was predicted that a man they have been looking for for many years. This man they will get to him on Wednesday. I mentioned Wednesday. And you saw what happened on Wednesday too. What happened and it was showing. If you could remember vividly, it was last month. I said here that I'm seeing a man, because this time around, when it comes to issue of uh, somebody dead, 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 I say, ah, God, if this thing could not be, could not be, I mean, reverse. I, I don't know, you know, we are in the generation without faith, without hope. They will begin to say, this man is always see people want to die. <laughs> like this, they say, ah. They also give me name that it will so it will see the, somebody who want to die, but why can't you revise it? I begin to cry for God. God said, "Look, look. When you said it, the reason why I gave you to say, when you said it, people consign if they could believe what you are saying here and pray along with you, it will be over. But in a each situation, it's the the result is two sided." my side and their side we say amen together this is why sometimes i say let's come together last month if you could remember i said there's a man at the center of his own world it's a new man i have the name and everything now when i don't even know what to do i don't want to know make sure my friend is my brother who is very close to the family that has invited the brother here sometime. I said, please come. I want to see you. Let's see. And I told him in my office, I said, can you go and send for this man for deliverance? I'm seeing so, so, so. So my brother is here. Please, can you come and share? <laughs> Today, the man of God spoke about focus. If I would have focused on the 12th of June, what he told me, maybe Michael Jackson would still be alive. It was his birthday. I came here to celebrate, and the man of God asked me up to his office. My name is T-Mac. I'm a musician, composer, 
and I'm a close friend to the Jackson family. I'm a business partner to Marlon Jackson in the Badagri project for the Slave Historical Park. And Marlon Jackson comes at least once a month to Nigeria. And we were planning for Michael Jackson to come in August for the foundation stone laying. And we also arranged for the Jackson Five to have the reunion concert here in Nigeria in October. The man of God called me and said to me, please tell your friend Marlon to send Michael here to Nigeria. Michael needs healing. He needs deliverance. I said to the man of God, but Michael Jackson just went for a checkup because he is going to have about 50 concerts. The man of God said to me, send Michael here. He needs healing. Now you have all seen on television what happened. Michael was rehearsing very hard for his shows. He had a back problem. And this doctor gave him a pain-killing injection. His breathing went down and he died. I was... I just returned from Port Harcourt where I met with some of the militant leaders on Thursday when I got a phone call by the chairman of the black American mayors. He said, they just brought Michael Jackson to the hospital, he's unconscious. I put quick CNN on and immediately came to my head, yeah, but the man of God told me something is going to happen. If I would have focused more, we would have insisted, Michael, come here, you need healing, he would still be alive. That's my test on me. Thank you. We want to show you the video when I said it here. They yes. will personally call you. Thank you very much. Let's, let's play the video. I immediately I had that vision. Immediately I had that vision. I call my workers, the evangelists, I call them. I say, look, this young man, Nito, he needs deliverance, he needs, I'm seeing something very bad. I say, what will I say, how will I present it? I now quickly call our brother. I, I immediately let him know. I said it here, because if I know you and I know whom I can quickly send to you, I don't need to mention the name. But if I know there's no way I could reach, let me mention it so that anybody that knows him can contact him. So this is the way. If I know somebody who can reach that place, I if I know what I'm saying, if I go to the embassy, the embassy will listen to me, I can submit my message. I don't need to mention. Even if I want to mention, I will put the name aside. But when there's no way I could reach the person, because it's a sin to me if I don't do it. So the first thing, I will just have to say it. So that when I'm saying this, people, a person as well may be watching the, our, 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 I mean, Imani TV, and the people know him also may be watching. So I have to say it. Let's, let's watch the video. Psalm 91 and take note of verse 7, 8, 9. Please can somebody read there. Psalm 91 from verse 7 to 9. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but he shall not come near thee. Only with an eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. Thank you. Pray. I'm seeing a great star from the wall shouting, hey, 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 in his own area. It's famous. It's known everywhere. Great. Too great. Because I see something begin to happen to that star. And that may likely end him to pack his load and go to the journey on, on no return. But I don't know when that journey. Related to that, for 
more classification, it is just play it back again. Let's watch so that you see. So after that, I begin to press button to see my friend. And I think, well, you know, twice I saw you. Twice. Yes, that's correct. Okay. No, no, no. okay. He tried, he tried himself to credit, but, okay, let's explain. I'm praying. Use Psalm 91 and take note of verse 7, 8, 9. Please, can somebody read there? Psalm 91 from verse 7 to 9. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but he shall not come near thee. Only with an eye shall thou behold, and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, your habitation. Thank you. Pray. I'm seeing a great star from the wall shouting, hey, 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 in his own area. It's famous. It's known everywhere. Great. True great. Because I see something begin to happen to that star. And that may likely end him to pack his load and go to the journey on, on no return. But I don't know when that journey. Last time I, there was a message given, so I repeated it again, again, in the next week to it again. I repeated it to remind people. Look at the message I'm saying. Because our boy, I was. Uh -huh. Last time I, there was a message given concerning somebody who is between life and death. Not in your community here. That is. And I say we should. I'm saying not here in Africa, not here in Nigeria. I'm saying it. Okay, take it back. Somebody who is between life and death. What's in your community here? And I say we should pray. I want you to raise up your voice. If it is the will of God, there's nothing we can do about it. But raise up your voice at your private pray for this person. When it happens, you know something happened. It's too young to leave your niece. Good evening, everybody. Breaking news about Michael Jackson. Now, in the past few minutes, the Los Angeles Times and the Associated Press have reported that Jackson has died. CNN cannot confirm those reports, but earlier the entertainer was taken to the hospital in Los Angeles in cardiac arrest. Sources familiar with his condition told CNN that he went into a coma. Now, Kara Finstrom is outside Jackson's house in Los Angeles now. Kara, what can you tell us? Well, this is the Bel Air home where he was staying. Uh, you know, this is a multi-million dollar neighborhood. He was renting this home. We understand paramedics came here, took him on about a six-minute ride to the L.A. hospital, uh, where, according to the L.A. Times, he has died. Allen with a check of the headline. CNN special, Legend of a Thriller, starts right now. So, that's... Um, I think the reason for everyone we are in a generation without faith, without hope. We have limited God. We believe God cannot do this through a human being every week, twice. What I saw the first week, I started seeing it from February. Ah, what it is? I saw him. I saw him. I saw his name. I saw him. 
even the place they were taking him to in the spirit where the hospital I saw it in the vision I saw everything in the vision I said I used to ask God when I see something like that how will I interpret it to people I need God to guide me how to present it so this is the way God said God said oh and I immediately remember there's a brother I can also consult I used every weapon to get this message So, this is just, uh, that, uh, remember many prophecy last week, last two week, you have more time forgetting. Every time you hear something like that, hold it. Because I mean, sometimes you think that I'm just talking, I'm laughing, because I'm not the one saying it. So, please.